Welcome back, my fellow mobile gamers. My name is Nimblethor, and this is Fishing and Life, an offline playable, relaxing fishing game with very simple controls. We simply tap and hold the only button on the screen, and then we release to let go and throw out our fishing rod, and we don't have to react fast. It's not an action game. We can just sit here and enjoy the honestly beautiful and very calming art style and atmosphere, including this pretty neat day and night cycle. It really has that also adventure style, which I know a lot of you guys are really liking, myself included, by the way. But with that said, of course, the entire reason why we're here is that I want to catch a freaking shark in this game. But right now, my bait and my fishing rod just isn't strong enough for that. And that is the addictive nature of this game. You want to catch all the fish, but doing so requires you to upgrade, which means catching more of the lower tier fish first to get more gold. So let's see what we can actually do about that after we figure out if we can catch one of the big ones here. Come on, I want to catch the big red one. Yes, there we go, success. And I think that one is worth $980 fish dollars. So let's add that one to our fish net. And now let's go have a look at the shop because I want to start out by upgrading our boat. So let's go to the boat section and see what we can get ourselves. Now we have 90,000 gold, which means we nearly have enough for the cruiser boat over here, but I think that might be a bit overkill right now. So I'm instead just going to go for the power boat, which costs 39,000 fish dollars and then we can spend the rest on upgrading our fishing rod instead. So we can upgrade the rod, we can upgrade the line, or we can upgrade the reel of our fishing rod. Now if we upgrade our fishing rod, that's gonna mean that we can catch high level fish. Upgrading our line means that we can go into deeper waters and upgrading our reel means that we have additional length on the fishing line. I want to go for the fishing rod first and foremost. I think we have to get that one to around level 20 maybe. But then I also definitely want to upgrade these other ones because I want to be able to go into deeper water. So now all of them are 15 except for the rod, which is 20. And you know what? I'm just going to spend the rest on upgrading the reel over here. So now that is level 19, which has given us a 19% increase in the length of the reel. So now let's continue here onto the open sea to see how far we can get. Wait, no more movable. Upgrade the boat. Wait, didn't we upgrade the boat already? Why do we still have the old boat then? Ah, of course we forgot to equip the new boat. So let's equip the power boat. Fish remaining in the fish net. That means we can't equip it. Is that it? Okay, well, what we can do first then is add this fish to the aquarium. The aquarium is full though, so we can go to the aquarium now and have a look at which fish are actually over here. Now, the fish we have in our aquarium, they generate gold for us. And that's why you actually want to add as many of the fish you catch as possible to the aquarium. At least the higher tier fish that you catch, because they're going to generate more gold. And you can also sell the fish afterwards. So if you don't need the gold right now from selling your fish, it's better to wait a bit, add it to the aquarium, let it generate some gold, and then sell the fish. But now we should be able to equip the power boat, and look at this, looks so much better. Oh, and it's much faster as well. Look at us go here. Now we're definitely able to continue onto the deeper seas with this upgraded boat, with this upgraded fishing line. And it seems this is just as far as we can go. So let's try throwing out our fishing line here and see if there's a shark down here somewhere. There is, oh, I thought there was a shark. There's no shark right now, it seems, but there's certainly lots of fish that we can catch. So do we want to use this fish as bait or do we want to carry it? I say we use it as bait. And what that does is that it upgrades our bait so that we can catch higher tier fish, such as, for example, this one. We wouldn't be able to catch this one without the higher tier fishing bait. Now, what we can also do, though, is we can go over here to the shop and we can scroll all the way down and buy our way to better bait so we don't have to use the fish that we catch as bait. But typically... That's rather expensive, so I'm not doing that for now, but you can do that if you want to. But as I said, they're one-time use only, so you really gotta be careful. You gotta know that you'll be catching a very rare fish if you do that, otherwise you've just wasted 1,000, 2,000, maybe even three or 4,000 of your gold on buying that bait upgrade. So the best strategy here, or at least what I'm doing, is just catching all the lower tier fish first, and then when I know there aren't a whole lot of them left, I know that my chances of catching one of the bigger fish has increased. And so in that case, I will either use an existing fish as bait, we can do that right now, because this was a pretty low tier fish, it would only have given us 130 gold, so the chances of catching a higher tier fish uh, outweigh the cost of using this fish as bait. That was very close though. This one costs 320. I'm still gonna use it as bait though because I know that there's this higher tier fish down here but we didn't catch it <laughs> once again. Okay, I'm gonna keep using these as bait for now. Uh, eventually, we should be able to catch this higher tier fish 
Let's see how we're doing. We can tap to reel in a tiny bit. Yes, there we go, success. We caught it. Now, I haven't seen a shark yet, or rather, I have actually seen a shark, but it's been a very long time since I found a shark in this game. So maybe there just aren't that many sharks during nighttime, because I don't know if you guys noticed, but it's actually in the middle of the night right now. So that might be it, or it might also be that we're just at a position right now where there just aren't any fish in these waters. So maybe we just go back a bit and, oh, look at that, guys. That's a whale! Are you so oh, and there's a shark as well! There's a shark, I saw a shark, there's a shark. Look at it. Oh man, that's the shark we gotta catch, guys! <laughs> Woo! Okay, well, honestly, I don't know if we even have a strong enough uh, bait, or a strong enough fishing rod, or line, to even catch one of those sharks. But I'm certainly gonna continue trying, and this just got a whole lot more exciting. Now, this game is very grindy, you gotta keep catching lower tier fish, so you can earn more gold, so that you can use them as bait, so that you can operate your boat, so that you can operate your fishing line, so that you can, you know, catch more fish, catch higher tier fish, and eventually maybe catch an entire whale. I thought the shark was the biggest one, but then I saw that whale, that was just, that's just insane. So that's the grindy nature of this game. Now we do have a couple of things we can do to get more gold faster, apart from just catching more fish. One of them includes finding chests, such as the chest we were just about to catch over there when we threw out our line. So opening these chests, it's gonna give us some gold, and some of these chests can be opened for free. Those are the silver chests, uh, such as the one we just opened. But then some of them, like the gold chest, we actually have to watch an advertisement to open. And we're not, of course, forced to watch these advertisements, but I will say that after playing this game for a while, I do feel very incentivized, let's put it like that, very incentivized to watch it, because we're constantly lacking gold in this game. And the other way we can get more gold is through in-air purchases. Now, there are a couple of different in-air purchases. One of them includes paying eight US dollars to remove all advertisements from the game, and then the other inner purchases just allow us to buy more gold for US dollars. This $8 inner purchase to remove the advertisements does put this game in the relatively pricey range in terms of what it costs to remove advertisements in mobile games, but the game is very unique as well, and it can easily be played without buying any of these inner purchases, so I also think it's sort of a way to support the developers if you really like the game and you want to support them, then you can choose to buy that in-app purchase, because you probably wouldn't pay 8 US dollars just to remove the advertisements, because the advertisements in this game aren't really that bad, we're not shown a whole lot of them, and you can play the game offline, and in that case, you're not going to see any advertisements whatsoever. So what do you guys say, though? Do you want to go on a fishing trip with me? If so, the download links for this game can be found in the description box down below this video. And now, it's that time again, it's time for the mobile gaming news of the day, which is that Google is now stopping support for its multiplayer APIs found in their play game service early next year already. This means that any turn-based or real-time multiplayer game that relies on these for their multiplayer won't work anymore after March 2020 unless the developers upgrade their games to use Google's newer multiplayer services or some other multiplayer services for that matter. Now, many games don't actually use Google Play services API for multiplayer, but a few might, a few certainly do, and if those games aren't being updated anymore by the developers, they will stop working in early 2020. It is a bit of a shame, honestly, but at the same time, I do understand that technology has to move forward, and you know, if a developer has stopped supporting the game, it was probably going to die eventually anyway from either new OS updates or new hardware or screen sizes that makes the game unplayable. So it's probably inevitable anyway, but it's still a bit of a shame. But that's all for now. I hope that you've enjoyed today's video and that you'll consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell if you haven't already, but you want more mobile gaming goodness. And until next time, just keep gaming, stay awesome, and I'll see you guys around.